Well, hello, everybody. Hey, I picked up a new lens for my Canon T1i, so I thought I'd uh, show it to everybody and provide some information to those of you who are searching for information on this lens. It's kind of a popular lens. Um, it's the Canon 50mm f1.8 lens. Um, I'm just going to go through a couple of the upsides and a couple of the downsides. It is a uh, autofocus lens. People say that it's uh, a little bit loud. Um, that really doesn't bother me all that much. It, it does its job. Um, it does a fine job of uh, focusing. It does have a little bit of a problem in really low light which is a little bit of an issue because that's where this lens really shines is in low light so the fact that it has problems focusing in low light uh, I guess could be an issue. Uh, another downside is the build quality the entire thing is all plastic even the bottom here where most lenses have a metal plate uh, this one doesn't. The only metal parts there are the contacts. So it's it's build quality is not the greatest. But if you don't, you know, take the lens and try to pry it off, I don't think that's going to be much of an issue, really. Um, it's going to do its job. I haven't heard of many people having problems with them breaking off or anything, so... Um, no image stabilization, so it, it doesn't have image stabilization, but with the wide aperture, the f1.8, you can open it all the way up and shoot at high shutter speeds. So you can hand hold the camera in a lot of different conditions, especially as compared with the kit lens that comes with the camera. So, you know, I don't know, of any other downsides, it's not a zoom lens. It's a it's what they call a prime lens, so the focal length is 50 millimeters. It's set at 50 millimeters. You can't zoom in or zoom out. So it's kind of like the kit lens all the way zoomed in. That's the perspective it gives you. So some of the upsides, the main upside is the f1.8 because you can control the depth of field like no other lens I've ever seen. I mean, it is outstanding. And you can also shoot in low light situations, like I was saying before. So, you can shoot indoor without a flash, for instance. Um, it's extremely light and extremely small it's like half the size and half the weight of even the kit lens, the 18-55 to that comes with this camera. So, anyway, that's kind of a look at it. It's an extremely, it gives your pictures an extremely artistic look or more professional look and I would highly recommend it for anybody that needs to, you know, that's looking to make their photos look a little better um, this would be a good way to go especially for the money because you can't buy a Canon lens for under about 500 bucks and if you want a decent one you're looking a lot more than that and these are around a hundred bucks uh, US dollars so for the money um, nearly everybody should have one in their bag unless you, money's not an object, and then you'd probably just get the 50 millimeter f1.4 USM. So, anyway, that's a look at it, and uh, I'll probably put a couple pictures in here, and you guys have a great day.